Hello, this is Brother Kromar from the Maths Department, and this is a supplement of the videos dealing with inference for several means with the ANOVA procedure. And these are the, uh, so we're going to deal with SPSS, and these are the four commands that you need to know to deal with ANOVA. Histograms, doing some automatic recoding, and then explore, and then we'll wrap it up with one way ANOVA. These actually, these first three are a review of what you've done before with independent samples, but we'll go through it again, okay? So first of all, let's go through an example with, this, uh, with histograms. This is the data dealing with the three different groups, the grateful group, the hassles group, and the events group. Okay, so what we're going to do is, is that to create a histogram, I'm going to do graphs, legacy dialogue, histograms. And then I'm going to take the measured variable, which is, which is live view. I'm going to stick that in the variable box. I'm going to stick the group variable, which is um, right here, and I'll put it in the, either in the rows box or the columns box. I'll stick it in the rows box first so you can see that a histogram looks something like this. Okay. Um, oh, here it is right here. I, I did it before, so here it is again. If I did it to where I stuck the histograms in the columns box, then we would have it to where it looks there side by side. As I mentioned in the independent samples of videos when we did this stuff with SPSS, I prefer this because it's easier to compare the centers of the different distributions, the shapes, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's histogram. So the next thing is recoding. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to go back to the this data here. So there's three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it from the three different conditions. Okay, so so the conditions where they're grateful, they're hassles, and there are events. Okay. So the three different groups, I'm going to do transform automatic recode. And I'm going to put in the conditions here in the variables, uh, arrow new name box, box. And then what I'll do is I'll type in the new name that I want. I'll call it condition recode. Okay, and then add new name. All right. And then click on OK. And so what happens is, is that I have now the a new variable called condition recode where I have the gratefuls are two. The hassles are three, and the events are one. And, I, and SPSS, what they do is, is that whatever comes alphabetically first, which is events, that'll be assigned a one recode. And then grateful is, is second in the alphabetical list, so they get a two, and then hassles get, gets the three. So then the next thing what we'll do is that we will go to, uh, we will try doing the explore command in, in SPSS. Okay, so I'll do Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. And then I'm going to, since I uh, created the condition, condition recode, I'm going to stick that in the fact list because that defines our groups. And then I'm going to take our measured variable, which is life view, the score of life view, and I'll stick that up here, another dependent list. And then I'll click on Plots. And then I, you can get histograms here, so I'll click on that. And then I'll also click on Normality Plots with Tests. Click on Continue, and then click on OK. And then you will see that here is we get a whole slew of output. So we have a bunch of dis numerical descriptive statistics for the three groups. We also have the histograms for each of the three different groups. Though I prefer, notice here that with these histograms, they don't have the same scale. We have a scale uh, from about 3 to 6.5. And this one is also about in the same range, but different. But notice the scale is listed differently. Okay. And that's why I feel like it's better using the histogram command because you have the same scales, whether you use it this method or this method, they're the same scales when you look at the horizontal axis, whereas with the explore command, you don't have the same scales. And then finally, I have a couple more things here is the, the QQ plots. All of these QQ plots, it appears to be, for the most part, that they are, I have to go back here, they kind of jump a little bit on me. Here, but it looks like with all three of the events, the grateful group and the hassles group, that appears to be relatively normally distributed. And then lastly, I have some QQ plots. Okay. So then the final thing I want to cover is one-way ANOVA. Okay. So how we do one-way ANOVA in SPSS is I'll do analyze, compare means, one-way ANOVA, and I'll take the I'll take the uh, life as a whole. That score I'll stick that in the dependent list. I'll put the the condition recode, I'll stick that in the factor box here. And then there's a couple more things we can do. If I go to options, I'm going to click on descriptors to get some descriptive statistics. And then I'll click on means plots just for fun. And I'll click on continue and click on OK. 
And then here we have some results here. Here's where we can get our descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics. That's why I clicked on, on options descriptive so that I can get these uh, results here. So you can get the sample size, the mean, and the standard deviation. Then here's where we get our ANOVA table, where here's our degrees of freedom, the two levels of degrees of freedom between group and within group, with our test statistic as well as our p-value. And then here's the means plot. We can visualize this to look at the means to see which one's different. Well, obviously, it stands out here on this means plot that the average for the grateful group is, is larger than, than the other two groups. So this, this is a good lesson in terms of uh, counting your many blessings, that, uh, at least according to this result, to this uh, statistical analysis, it appears that those who take the time to express gratitude, they, have, uh, they, they feel more happy. So, and that is all of the, uh, the commands that you need to do in SPSS for dealing with ANOVA histograms, recoding, explore, and one-way ANOVA.